there has been an alarming and rising spike in hate crimes, primarily targeting Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Now, as Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda tells us, elected officials in L.A. are moving forward with a new campaign to help put a stop to this violence. The video shows three women in the back seat during an Uber ride berating the driver. It was unbearable. It was threatening. I was scared of my life. Subakar Kabka is from Nepal and has been driving for Uber for three years. He says he was picking up the three women in the Bayview area of San Francisco when he noticed one didn't have a mask. He asked her to put one on, and that's when they started coughing and yelling racial slurs. <laughs> the cursing thing was too much. So the, lady were, the ladies were even talking about um, shooting me. Uh, calling their cousins to shoot me. Um, it was, and they were making fun of my race. This is one of a series of incidents and attacks all across the country against members of the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. Hate is something that we have to address. Today, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors unanimously approved and funded an anti-hate program to deal with this increase in violence. Officials say, according to a report by the LAPD, anti-Asian crimes in Los Angeles jumped 114 percent in 2020. We must expand the county's only anti-hate program to show that L.A. County stands with our marginalized communities when they are under attack. Uber issued a statement saying the behavior seen in the video is appalling. The rider no longer has access to Uber. Kopka says the entire incident was very painful and he still feels traumatized. All those thoughts, being inside a car surrounded by three people and constantly yelling at me, um, I can't drive. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.